What is up, producers? Welcome to Low and Candy. I'm Bohemoth, and today we're going to completely think sidechain compression and think of a different approach. Before we hop in, I wanted to mention that I'm currently doing one on one mentorship lessons on AbletonLiveTeacher.com. Uh, working with a mentor is the best way to accelerate your path to learning. It's in there if you're interested. Also, at this point, I'm releasing videos every other day or so. So go ahead and toss me a like and subscribe. It really helps. Let's get into it. This technique is going to apply to a lot of people who are making trap or hip hop or bass music or anything like that. So when we sidechain compress, what we're doing is we're compressing one signal based on the signal of another track. Now that's great, but there's a better way to do that. And that is sidechain volume automation. This applies if you want a really heavy, a noticeable duck that really gives your track that pumping and emphasizes your kick and makes it sound big. So for a long time, I used Ableton's stock compressor and always sidechained my sub and all my other elements to my kick. After I found the specific plugin, I started using sidechain volume automation and I really never go back unless I'm working on something where I want a subtle sidechaining, like maybe some vocals or maybe some meshing of my mids. But as far as my kick and sub relationship goes, 100% of the time I use this plugin. So over here we have a basic loop. Very basic. We're gonna use this as an example to show you what I'm talking about here. So we're gonna go ahead and group all of our instruments except our kick and our snare. And we're gonna to toss a chain shaper on it. This is one a producer John Casey showed me a while ago and it's absolutely changed the way I side chain. What it is, is it's actually using volume automation to make volume cuts in everything that's on the group or the channel. So if we select our kick here, We have that super heavy, super emphasized ducking that you really just can't get with sidechain compression. Really helps the kick stand out. It helps everything duck and gives it that heavy kind of feeling where when the kick hits, everything is just quiet. This has a lot of controls on it. This is by Noir Labs. I'll link it in the description. You can determine how much you want to shave out here. And it's cool because it gives you a nice visual. So if we want like a very emphasized duck or if we only want the transient to kind of shine through we can edge it more to the left and you might say to yourself well what if i only want to side chain volume automate the lows well it's got this tab here we can pop open and now we can adjust the dry wet of how much it's affecting each three of the different frequency ranges the lows the mids and the highs this is absolutely fire. This is one of my favorite features of this plugin. So if we want to leave like our shakers and our top ends not ducked or affected by the kick, we're just going to turn this down. We can hear just the difference. We can change the crossover up here. And we can get a little bit bigger of a view if we click open up here and we can kind of get see what we're ducking. So it's a really basic, really intuitive, easy to use side chaining tool. I also like that because a lot of them where you have to MIDI trigger and do all this crazy stuff just to get your side chaining, it's a pain in the butt. So with this one, uh, you just toss it on, you select your input here and you're pretty much cruising. I also do this with my mids and my snare. So if you make trap, hip hop or bass music or any genre really where you want that really heavy ducking, Definitely grab this, I'll link in the description. It's 35 bucks, very competitive compared to plugins like Track Spacer or Shaper Box. Can't recommend it enough, definitely go grab it. And yeah, that's all for today. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thanks for stopping by, I'll see you next time.